That's right, back to school means it's almost time for those school photos. And regardless of what age or grade your child is going into, it's gonna be photo time soon than you think at all the schools. I know Victoria has October 4th coming up and here to give us some tips on how to prep your child for a school photo day is professional photographer, Allison Sweeney. Good morning. Good Thank morning. you so much for being Thank here. Thank you for having me. This is exciting. Now, I was excited to have you because Allison has taken photos of my kids before and you've mm -hmm. always made them feel so comfortable and not stressed or overwhelmed. I know a lot of parents right now in elementary school are so nervous about school pictures. Yeah. What is some advice for the, for the moms and dads of, of the little kids right now? So I, I would I would take the pressure off of them. Don't make it such a big deal. You know, the parents seem sometimes more stressed than the kids are. Truly, you know, they so, are. Yeah, so just, you know, lay out something comfortable that they feel relaxed in, yep. and it's really the waist up. It's not like a, a full-blown. Yeah, like most of the time they're sitting. Yes. So, you know, just a nice clean shirt, top, whatever they feel comfortable in. Whatever they feel comfortable yeah. in. Yeah, And, you know, we were talking before we came on is that sometimes they have all the kids kind of lined yeah. up, and a lot of the kids can see each other getting yeah. their pictures taken. What should you know you tell your child if they get, if they seem nervous about that yeah so that's you know it's typically they will have a screen but if they don't and you are sort of like oh my god where everybody's gonna see me right you know just kind of encourage your child to like spread positivity to that's the other kids point. and maybe it'll trickle through you know like you look great I love your outfit this is so fun like encourage them to help their peers. I love that, yeah. I love that. And one thing you were saying too, is like, let's say the photo doesn't come out like when it gets back to the house, oh, yeah. <laughs> exactly how, you know, mom and dad maybe envision, maybe the smile isn't there. Yeah. You know, what but, is your you advice? Know, just just it, enjoy it. It's a time and a place. It's yeah. what it is. You know, just, you look back and go, oh my gosh, remember you didn't have any teeth? Look at that, you no, know, it's like true. whatever. Yeah. You cut your bangs that summer, <laughs> like whatever. I, fifth grade, my dad cut my bangs. <laughs> I do remember that. You know, and talk to me now about like the older kids, you know, obviously high school is a little mm -hmm. bit different. Sometimes yeah. you don't get that smile. You know, any advice for parents out there? They're like, listen, my kids just don't care. Yeah, you know, and sometimes it's, you're capturing the essence of the, of the, of the student right. or the subject. So sometimes kids who smile, their eyes close. So not everybody needs a big Yeah, that big smile. No, you know, just have them there. Let them be who they are. Yeah, let them, let them shine the way that they are yeah i mean my one of my daughters had her freshman picture taken with a t-shirt on it said like yellowstone on it you know like so like and that was what whatever into, yeah right? that's like, what you do what are you gonna do you can't put too much pressure on this and let's talk senior portraits because i know that's one of your oh, yeah. you know your, your hot spots too and i know you're doing that right now is your season yes how do you get you know that senior portrait that kind of like it's in the yearbook it really it's, yeah it's, it's everywhere. it lasts so, so that one is documented it, it lasts really is. yeah what is advice for that so i would start um if you haven't done it already, start booking because it's it's time. It, the deadline's approaching. Most um, high schools want it by the end of October, and you know it. I approach my senior um, portraits more along the lines of what, how the children, the the student is. Right. Like so, if they don't like the camera, it's important to know from the parent, you know that. Hey, they're a little shy. You know, we 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 don't That's want a, a big point. thing. Or some some students want you know multiple changes of clothes, different right. locations. And location honestly does not matter. What That's matters most is um, composition, design, texture, because it is a portrait. It's not like you at Second Beach. You know, it's right, just That's a good point. it's really like you have to have at least fifty percent of the image filled has to be with the, the subject. Right. Yeah. So it's not about where it's about composition design and what i see and real quickly too what if you have parents that are a little bit overboard? hovering yes. yeah no we're not going to have a hovering <laughs> yeah it doesn't work out well been there done that it's not it's not it it, it makes puts, the kid more nervous it's more nervous yeah. yeah and i just say you know what have a seat over there if you want to come come if you don't that's good too but it just puts more pressure on them just yeah. like elementary school That's you true. know it's just the same thing over again so just you know let them be with me and i can pull out their essence naturally from what i see you'll get the job done. i'll get it done and she does a great job thank so if you, you are looking make sure you head over to allison's facebook page and instagram website. we have everything over on our website roadshow.com thanks so much allison. thank you for so having great. me this is really fun all right back to you guys